Hi, my name is Chris Poppio. In this video, you'll see me restore this 80 year old mural. Right now, this is the finished product, but what I'm going to show you is the beginning of the project and what it looked like before I started. This project was done using golden acrylic products, uh, specifically the MSA paints, MSA gels, and MSA varnishes. And they're products that work extremely well for this type of application. So I'm going to go through the beginning part and uh, you'll be able to see how it all came together. So it looks like what happened is when she originally did this painting, she did it right. She painted oil right on top of bare plaster. You can see there's some areas that are it flakes off differently than if it was primed. So that's what makes me believe that it's just oil on top of fresh plaster. Well, not fresh plaster, but just bare plaster, unprimed plaster. You can see the way it's flaking off is a little differently than it would if it was primed first and had you know water damage or something like that. But it's falling apart in many areas. Small little pieces of paint are sort of flaking off. So what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> first I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to encapsulate it in MSA varnish. So now I've done um, most of the cleaning on the mural. It took a few days to really get all the carbon deposits and just oils and... Um, grime of 80 years. <clears throat> so that took a lot of work. And then I also removed just some sections of paint that are really falling off the surface. Paint that was applied really didn't adhere well to the, to the wall. So when it did fall off, it fell off in tiny little bits rather than what you usually see as large chunks. Um, Usually when the wall is primed first, you see large chunks of paint that fall off. But this was like really small little bits of paint. You can see that these tiny little areas, the paint just didn't adhere well to the surface. And for some reason, and I don't know if it, I think it's a moisture issue. Because you see it comes, the paint sort of comes off along these cracks. So I'm assuming that a moisture sort of came in from underneath, <clears throat> from the backside, and then sort of forced the paint off, but at this point, um, that's as much paint as I'm going to take off. Uh, I don't want to remove too much of it. Whatever's there now is going to get embedded in this sort of sandwich, the first sandwich layer, which is um, MSA varnish. It's a paint called MSA varnish made by Golden Acrylics, and uh, I'm going to use MSA gloss. I'm going to mix it with one part um, solvent and one part varnish. So I'm going to airbrush <clears throat> the varnish onto the surface. That way I'm not, if I was going to brush it on that I'd really be, um, you know, putting way too much pressure on the mural that's already there. So that way I'm just going to airbrush it on. So it'll just sit on top. And it'll actually use work as sort of an as adhesive to keep whatever is might be the little pieces of paint that might be falling off a little bit, it will kind of put it back onto the surface and form like a nice uh, embedded layer. After that, <clears throat> I need to, basically I'm going to make a plaster type mixture to fill in all these holes. So, the surface will be even across. So from here all the way across to there will be nice and even. So that's the next step after the MSA varnish.
You can see now this is this is the final version of the mural. It is this is after a number of months of um, restoration. This mural was in pretty horrific condition when I first saw it, and uh, it's amazing that now it's all intact. So just to give you some history, this, this mural was done by a woman named Ryla Saunier, and in 1934, it's actually the downstairs is from 1934 and the upstairs uh, is 1935. And as far as I know, she was um, from the West Coast and then came to the East Coast in Ipswich um, to live for a few years. And she did, she painted this mural over a number of years. Um, and that's kind of as far, that's as much history as I know. I know she was very well trained and did most of her artwork was um, had f were, were like still lives with flowers, you know, things like that. You see, the mural comes all the way up through the stairwell and into the second floor landing. So it's a pretty, pretty large painting. It's probably, I would imagine, close to 80 feet long when it's all said and done. One of the largest issues I had with it was the extensive um, dirt and grime buildup that was on the wall surface. Uh, I had to clean that first and then <clears throat> there were large sections that were the paint was literally just falling off. Alright, so this is the finished product.